Eres me fedevan er de hal er de My name is Roshi Nealon and I worked on research and production of the album Glor Nahisha, Songs of Solidarity and Resistance. Yeah, well, I suppose we were aware of the huge amount of music and poems that had been written over the years of the struggle. And I think that it started to to feel like something we needed to do. A new 3D CD album called Glor Nahisha, which is Songs of Solidarity and Resistance, which catalogues the long struggle of members of the local community in North Mayo against the proposed Shell gas pipeline at Rossport. There are over 60 pieces of recording here and two of the architects of the project. Campaigner and writer Michael McCohan and activist Eamon Stack join me now. Gentlemen, you're very welcome to the Art Show. Eamon, um, by any standards, this CD package is a mammoth undertaking. It's, uh, it began back in 2012. I think it was, um, there was uh, a guy, Donald Finn, was talking to somebody about a song he had written. My name is Donald Finn. I'm a music producer from the west of Ireland, and I'm the person who recorded the album Glorna Heesha's Songs of Solidarity. In, in the initial conversations about the project, in, in, way back in the very beginning, we, we spoke about how to make a project that could help to heal a divided community, a community that had suffered and had a lot of injustice done to it that people had ignored and we wanted to give back something to this community to say hey as artists we saw what happened here and we acknowledge what happened and we witnessed it and now we pay tribute to the people who tried to defend it you know fill her up there mr royal man there's a place i have to go a protest march on eris in the county of Mayo. See, we all need these shell products, but we don't like their style, or their greed, or their pollution, or their corporations' lies. I want to meet my heroes, and as soon as I arrive, I will bow my head and shake the hands of the famous Rossport Five. Of the famous the problem, see, the problem with me is, I was never very good at doing what I was told. Do you know? Um, I'm Jerry Bork. I live here in Ahus or Rossford, as you probably know. Um, do a bit of farming and a bit of building, and we have been down up against Shell for the last ten or eleven years, and. Um, we're still at it, funny enough. In the beginning, right, we knew that whatever there was oil or gas, whatever it was, we knew nothing about it and we couldn't care less because we're just doing your day-to-day -day thing and putting kids to school and walking or whatever. You know, like anybody we do. Like, I was coming home from walk, hard on the radio, there were five people from Rossport put to jail. And I said, because they were opposed to pipeline going through the land. I am, uh, my name is uh, Cornelius King and I'm a retired uh, primary school principal of the local school in Common Parish uh, known as Rossport National School. In the school, you see, where I was teaching, uh, the caretaker in the school ended up being one of the farmers who was objecting to it coming on his land when he was put in prison, when I visited him, that really was one of the major, <laughs> how would I put it, uh, experiences of my life, you know? To have his presence in a school, children coming in, etc., and then to find him, you know, to something to happen to such a person, and to see him there in a prison was absolutely something never to be forgotten. No. I have land myself and I farm it and I, I do building work. My father was a far, farmer as well. So I understand what it is to see. I'm going to take your land and I'm going to put you to jail. There's very few people that stand up and speak out and say this is wrong. 
you can say it afterwards. That's perfect. That's great. You're safe. But it takes a brave person to say, no, this is wrong. A road to Damascus experience, really, you know? That this was your own government. And it took me a long time to fully grasp that. <laughs> you know, really did. That was the first day of 10 years. I think for two years, I didn't do a single bit of work for anybody. Between going to court, protesting every day out the refinery, letting nothing in or out. And if I had my way, they would never be let into it. But as time went on, of course, it became quite clear that there was no change, that the government wasn't going to change, that the developer wasn't going to change that they were single-minded on what they wanted to do. And of course, uh, the, the Gardaí then, in a sense, adopted more and more um, severe methods to try and shake the people's will and determination. The government or the state, their idea was to crush us, to destroy us. But instead of that, they met hundreds and thousands of us. Who could foresee Shell's corporate heart of stone to smile and to take and forever to rule? My God, if all were known. My name is Margareta Darcy. I'm a thorn, a nuisance, a busybody. Wherever governments and multinationals are there, I will there be poking them. We met Maura Harrington in the street and she said, are you two willing to go to jail for a good cause? And we said, sure we are. And that's how we became involved. Which is very much what this CD is about, isn't it? That's it's right. It's about that spirit that's of, right. of, of continual Exactly. Resistance. That's exactly what it's about. And, and that's what we wanted to, to, to reflect. And well, the artists themselves reflected it. We just gathered the pieces. And, and that resilience and that spirit, you know, uh, it's, it's been, you know, it's a huge part of, of, of the human spirit in any kind of adverse circumstance. And it was a huge part of this campaign. And just to, to, to gather all of that and say, well, this is, this is, this is your story. And there's, there's a quote we like to use where Liam Clancy says that uh, history is, written history is, is the propaganda of the victors. Whereas for the real story, you need to go to the folk song. You need to go to folk song. Come gather round friends and I'll tell you a hell of a tale As old as the hills and as black as a piece of bog dale Five innocent men lie in Clover Hill prison today Injustice, treason, shell oil, it's your wicked way It's very, very rare that a closely knit community who have been there for hundreds and hundreds of years allow outsiders to come and join them in their struggle. There's a lot of strength in art and a lot of strength in community and I think when the two of them come together, it's a good place. The title of the album, um, Lorna Hisha, meaning um, the voice or it can mean the sound or the cry 
of our times. So it's it's um, songs um, and poems from the Rossworth struggle. David, Goliath, just, you know, everybody loves Underdog because you just might win. I think the significance of, of the CDs is that 15 years is that artists were expressing their disgust about what was happening in Shell. They were expressing their admiration for the struggle, what was happening in Eris. And it is absolutely a wonderful feeling to think all over the world is that there is a human voice, that there is imagination, that there are fingers that play instruments to be able to make sure that struggle for justice, for peace, for harmony is not forgotten. Just even hearing the, the music and hearing the album as a whole, um, I suppose the truth of the story comes through in a way that we can't, um, you know, you, you can't understand on a rational level. The function of art is to heal. Yeah. And I think my, my, my man says that, heal and, you know, celebrate. And that is true. Yeah. And that's what art, that's why art is so sacred, you know, sacred, that's what it's about. Whether they turn on the gas or they don't, um, in the middle of nowhere, we stood up and we said no. And people often came and said, oh, you're great and you're this and you're that and fair play to you. we're not great, it's just that anybody be watching this, if you, people come to your home and take what you have away from you, you'll either do one or two things. You'll either stand up to them or you'll give it to them. Now, if you were somewhere else to go, Giving it to them is probably okay. But when your back is put to the wall, you're given no other choice but to fight. But I'm going to fight every time. <laughs> 